Hey everybody, it's IKK is Axe Reviews. We are back again with another video. And guys, we just got done watching Legacies. It was on yesterday, but yesterday I saw Ghostbusters Afterlife. So we're, that's why we're doing it today, our review. Um, this was episode six called You're a Long Way From Home. Uh, you know, we got a lot that happened in this episode. Um, you know, from last week's episode leading into this week's episode, that like when it was showing us for this week's episode, you know, the preview, it looked like a big fight was about to go down between Caleb, Josie, um, you know, uh, who else? Caleb, Josie. Cleo, Jed, Ethan. And MG. MG. So it looked like a big fight was about to go down, and I was like, super, so excited to see what was going down. Um, I'm going to let Annie take out, um, you know, start first on what she liked about today's, uh, or yesterday's episode. Annie, what'd you like about it? Um... Everything pretty much was good. I still like, I like to see Clark again. I don't like how they, how his name is Ryan. I don't like his grandma. I think she's just a bitch and I don't like her. Uh, she's just like, she just pisses me off. I, I liked how Clark now named Ryan. Um, I liked how he, he, he got the normal life that he wanted. He always wanted a normal life because he saw how Hope, you know, she had, you know, friends at, you know, like, and that were family, and she had a place that, you know, she could call home, and that's all Clark wanted, is he wanted a place to, you know, call home, and he wanted, you know, uh, a girlfriend or soon-to-be wife and stuff, and just wanted to have a, a, a life with, you know, kids eventually, and he just wanted to have a normal life, and I really liked how, you know, when we saw him in this episode, he, he's having a, a, a happy, normal life, but it's like, he's still trying to, you know, you know, trying to, like, learn the ropes of living a normal life after he's been immortal all this time. So it's kind of like he's still trying to find his way of finally having a normal life outside of the fact of, like, being um, in a supernatural. So I, I, I really liked how we really get to see him trying to figure out how to live a normal life, but he's happy. And But he gets interrupted when Hope, you know, intervenes and she tries to make him, like, I guess, figure out the location of... I, I forget the name of the place. I think it's I keep thinking Triad, but I don't think that's right. I don't know what it's called, but she's trying to like figure out where the three people are that want to hunt her down. But she's trying to figure out more of more information, so she wants to know their home base. And the only one that knows about it is Clark because he worked with them. Because they worked, you know, they had stuff to do with Malivore, so they know about all that stuff. They're like supernatural hunters and stuff like that, and they, and they work at that place. So that's why she wants to, she, if anybody would know, it's him. So I really do appreciate how, like, I didn't put that together, that that's who she was going to go to to find some more information about this place. But I do like how that's, you know, that makes sense, who she would go to was goes to see Clark. So I really did enjoy that. But you could tell he's not happy to see her because he's living his normal life and he doesn't want people to find out that he had another life. That he was somebody that, you know, that he wants to get away from his past. And I did like that a lot. I did like how she was kind of like messing up things for him. Because I thought, for instance, if anybody can bring her back to her humanity, it would probably be him. Because he had such an involvement with Landon, why them being brothers. And also, she has a connection to him. I felt like it could be her next love interest. And I did, I did enjoy that. So Yeah, I was saying when we saw Hope and Clara, I was like, I... Maybe yeah, when we saw their connection in the earlier episodes, um, in the past seasons, I'm like, you know what? I could see them dating if the Landon thing doesn't work out. I'm like, I, I could totally see it. I don't really like her with Landon. I, I, I see that's where I don't buy it, Annie, because you've been such a, a Hoper Land, I don't know, a Hop Land or Hope Land or I don't know what their ship name is, but you've been, you've been such, you've been shipping them for a very long time. And that's what shocked me is that you're saying that you didn't. He didn't like them. I I, I, mean, I, I, I like them together, but I did, I liked something about, again, the, you know, the, the you know, the Hope and the, the Clark. I really see some, that going somewhere. I could have, but now, by the way, the episode ended, I don't see it going anywhere. Um, but you never know, later down the line, something could happen. Um, they left it in a place where it's like, oh, you never know, something could happen, I don't know. Because, um, you know, by the end, by, by like when, because as we all know, she screws up to the point where like, his girlfriend breaks up with him and you know she works for his like uh she works for uh or he works for his girlfriend's father's uh telemarketing yeah. company and he gets kicked out of his work he gets you know kicked out of his house and pretty much he's forced to go with hope on this adventure going to find the place so she can get some answers and then you know when he gets back, you know, he does say sorry, and then she ends up accepting it, and then she ends up knowing the fact that, you know, vampires are real, and he ends up 
telling the truth about that, which kind of concerns me because it's like, we all know when people find out about supernaturals, things start, bad things start happening. And it kind of concerns me that he let her know about vampires and magic and everything, which he looks like that's what he's trying to, that's what he's telling her. So it kind of concerns me where that can go. Um, but it also concerns me the fact of like, she went to, we end up finding out that land that, you know, hope went to Clark as pretty much, a. As like a way of like of wanting Clark to say it was okay for the way she was acting because Clark calls her out on it saying you you wanted to come here thinking I would you know that this would be okay wanted you you wanted to come here to make it seem like you know this was a, this would be a, okay what you're doing and I'm, I'm telling you it's not you know you should be grateful you had a family that cared about you and everything I I felt jealous of you because of that and you know you could like I suggest you go home. Um, you know, like either you close the book or you, or you open the book or you just go home. Like, you know, cause you're, you, you don't want to do anything before, like that you're going to regret. Meaning that he's, t he put her in her place saying, go home. You're doing the wrong thing. And you, and you wanted to come to me thinking, you know, and pretty much you, me, like saying this was okay. Like making you, like making you say your behaviors was okay when it's not. You need to go home. You, you thought I would it, allow, like, you know what I mean? Allow your, your, like, what you're doing to, like, you thought it would be okay. You know what I mean? So I, I really did enjoy you put her in her place and go home. You know what I mean? You're going to do something you're going to regret. Before you do something uh, that you're going to regret, I really did appreciate that. And that's what it seems like what she's going to do in the next episode, which will come back December okay. 2nd is when we're going to get the, the seventh episode, which should be interesting. I'm really excited for that episode. The um, reason why we don't have next week is Thursday. Next week is Thanksgiving. Exactly. So I, I really did. I thought if anybody, when he was giving her that speech, hope I thought that telling her off, saying you know you're doing the wrong thing, and you came here to justify what you've been doing. You thought I would, I would think this is okay what you're doing. I really did appreciate that, and I thought he would bring her back to her humanity. I thought that was what was going to happen because he seems like he was really getting to her what he was saying. And I really did appreciate that, that he just wasn't tolerating her crap. And he was just furious. He was just like, he was like, I can't believe you would turn off you, your humanity like that. Like, I can't believe like you would do any of this. You're not that person and all that stuff. So I, I really appreciate it. And I think it's going to set her on the right path. I mean, clearly it did because she's going home. Why would she do that? It's because of what he said. And I really appreciate that, that she, something that is going to be shown to her there is what's going to set it to what her new humanity comes back on. I don't know what it will be, but something will do it. It just seems like there's going to be a lot of drama in the seventh episode. I'm excited for it. But in this episode also, you know, we see, um, you know, Lizzie finds a, finds a spell in the Lark's uh, journals and it is to take somebody's like, you know, it's like a sacrifice to bring someone back to life. And that's going to a point where I never thought Lizzie would go. She would go to that extent. We really see Lizzie spiraling ever since her father died because she doesn't have that, that, you know, sense of control that, you know, a lark gives her, like her father gives her is like, you know, I'm always going to be here. Like, you know, like that, 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 that balance of someone that pulls you back in and you don't go too far. Like that, that, you know, it seems like, you know, she is struggling without that, that guide that her father is. And that's why she was willing to sacrifice somebody that's already, she's like, I'm gonna find somebody that's already dying. And that will justify me doing this. It won't be bad if I do that, but it's still bad. It's still going to a point where a lark would never want to come back that way. And I really did appreciate how everybody was telling her that and she was learning that way and she she's about to do it. But then the 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 person that she's going to be sacrificing's daughter come, you know, wants to come in there to say goodbye to her father. And that's pretty much how would she it's like where she's coming from. Like, how would she feel if somebody else was doing that to her father? And, you know, she didn't get to say goodbye. Or, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like or like she understands that from a standpoint of like, oh, my God, am I about to take away your father? And that's where I'm coming right from right now. It's like my father's dying and. Well, how would it feel if I didn't get to say the last words to my dad? Like I got to, if it is the end for my father, you know what I mean? So I really did appreciate the fact that that's what pulled her back in to the fact of saying to Josie, I need help. And I thought that was cool because she was going really far trying to doing anything and everything to save her father. And that's no different from what Hope's been trying to do again with Landon. So it's like almost like she should understand the fact of, oh my God, I'm doing exactly what Hope's been trying to do all this time. And it's like, it's, it makes me feel like the characters always are very hypocritical. They always say something to Hope, but they do the same thing as Hope. And that's what I don't like a lot of the times. It's like, you should realize in your head that you're acting like Hope, even though you don't like Hope. It's also another thing is like, they kind of like pointed it out to her in, in a sense, in a way, is that she's kind of doing the same thing. The one character that I really, really miss right now is Alark. Yeah, which we, yeah, we did see at the end of this. 
I really, really do miss him. You were excited about that, but I said Annie. That means he's, like, on the depth of dying. He's in limbo, meaning that, like, he's on the edge, the verge of you're dead. You have a choice. Either you take that boat and you go to the, the light or you stay there in that in, in a coma, in a sense, waiting for you to decide what's going to happen. But his fate might be already cho chosen for him. I don't know. So I don't know what's going to happen with that character. I don't know if he's going to, like, we're going to just see him die off. I don't know if he's going to come back. I mm -hmm. think he's going to come back, though. I feel like then he's not going to die. Been, but who he's knows? He's been part of this franchise for, for, like, ever. They're kind of leaving it open-ending, but him being there with, like, um, with, um, what's his face? Malivore and... Ted. Ted, that kind of puts it in the standpoint of in this episode we see them get trying to get a gold coin, but they have to realize that they can't get a gold coin because of all the bad they've done. So they have to figure out a way to, to pre figure out a way to like prove to themselves that they were bad. They have to admit to themselves they were bad and that they did bad things. Yeah, and they, also like I liked that with a lark, like. He's been on the show for so long, and if he leaves the show, who's going to be in charge of the, the school? There's a lot of people would that, that could... Would that, would that mean that Candace would come back? Because she said there's a possibility that we could see her in Legacy. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think he either A is going to come back, or if he doesn't come back, I think it could be... I could see Dorian taking over. Him leaving the, maybe the high school coming there. Or maybe I could see that one Dorian's girlfriend taking over. I forget what her name was. But Emma. Emma. I could see some people, other, other people taking over. That It doesn't have to be him. But it would really be like but a... But him and Kelly own the school. It's their school. Exactly. But I mean... He's head master. She's head mistress. So if but it's like, he leaves, it would have to be... Next Technically, no, because Caroline could just be like, oh, I want you to do it. Or if he if he did wake up for some unknown reason and he, and he was able to like give the okay to somebody, they would do it. Or even if Dorian or any of Emma did take over, Caroline wouldn't care. She'd be like, okay, that makes sense. She knows them enough to be like, okay, that's cool. So it's like, I'm just thinking, I don't see him dying off. I just feel like they're doing this because they're trying to like let the characters have figure out their own problems. They're trying to address the problems out. Like, again, like they addressed it with, you know, Josie. Since, you know, she had to pick up like the, pick up like being the, um, being in charge of the school, she had to pick up the being in charge mantle of I have to take care of the school now. I have to be the I have to be like the headmaster of the school since my dad's out of in, in commission right now. I need to be the one in charge. And again, that's always feels like Josie's always the one that has to pick up the pieces and can never focus on herself. And that's been a problem for the, they, the longest time is because why, there's always something in the way. And the reason why they give like they give that give that to Josie because. We never know when Lizzie will have an episode. Exactly, but you see how that's like Josie by Lizzie being away for a bit because it looks like I guess she's in that box or whatever, getting counseled or something. I I don't know, like the therapy box. She's there, I think. That's where she went, and then you know, with a lark still, you know, her father still being, you know, in the hospital. She, and now, now it's time for her to take a minute, take a step back, and actually be able to grieve and realize that it's stressful right now for me. I can't always be the one to save everybody. I can't always be the one to solve all the problems. I can't be. I can't be that person. I need to take care of myself and grieve for a second. She never really got the chance to just grieve for a second, just chill out and and, and fin, you know. And Finch really like said that to her, like you need to take a step back and and learn that the world's not going to like fall. Because, you know, Josie Saltzman decides to, you know, grieve for a second or just, you know, or just chill for a second. And that's true. Like, Josie really never has a time to just really take a step back, focus on herself without worrying about everything else and all the problems. And I feel like since Lizzie's gone doing whatever now and, you know, and of course, you know, her father is in the hospital, it's a chance for her to just take a second and let other people pick up the problems. And it really gives us some growing with the characters since people can't be the ones to save them like a lark or josie or or lizzie being you know like you know, like it works in the hand of you know josie because she gets to take a minute to breathe but also they get to work on their own like you know lizzie gets to work on herself without you know people always having to save her like josie and all that stuff and and like the whole a super squad you know with you know um mg is working with you know is working on i i, I think you know trying to make things work in the super squad trying to be a leader and caleb's trying to learn his it's trying to get, you know, people to forgive him in this episode. Like, it's giving our characters enough time to grow. And I really appreciate that that's why they're taping him in the in the coma. Is this because it's giving us a lot of time with growth with the, our characters. And I, I like that. It's cool. So, I just don't know going forward what's going to happen when, when I don't know when Hope will turn on hu her humanity. Because, for instance, when this episode first started and we see her walking down that street... I thought she literally killed Ethan. I thought she, ki like, she killed Jed. But it's, uh, that was all... 
uh, a, a planning thing. Like they were all in the simulation on how things will go, and they ran it like fifteen times, and they kept getting their ass kicked. So it's like they went up, they went to plan it out before they went out there and died, which is smart because again, she's more powerful now than she was before. So it's like, how do you take this, this you know, you know, tribrid down? How do you take her down now that her all of her sides, are, you know, her she has all control now, and she's the most powerful creature. Hence, why you know, triad, if that's what they're called, is going after them. I can't, I don't know what the, I forget what the, the place is called, but that's why they're going after them because they're afraid. So I'm just curious to know how they are going to beat them. But the one part was funny in this episode. And we were talking about this, and we were just dying, Annie is the moment where, like, they're practicing, and Josie and MD are up top, and they're pretty much, you know, letting them run the drill, and Caleb's dumbass is like, oh, I, I got I got hope. Just, you know, be a distraction, and, it, you know, and then Jed's like, what do you mean? Or, and they're like, they're, he's not working together, and that's the problem, because he didn't work together, and, and it goes to show, like, he didn't work with them before to save Cleo and Landon. He wanted to be on his own, hence why he betrayed them and went with Malibor. He keeps being the one that the wants funny, to do it on his own. The thing that I thought was funny was, he goes, uh, MG goes, you're dead, Caleb. He goes, what? I didn't hit you, but I didn't hit anyone in my heart. I hit in my solar... It hit me in my solar, solar plexus. plexus. I was like, dead. He's like, because MG shoots these, like, these blow-up pencil darts at him. And I was just a lot, I was crying. And he's like, Caleb, you're dead. And Josie's like, yeah, you're dead. And he's like, no, it didn't even hit me in my heart. It hit me in my solar plexus. And it was funny because I love what Jed's like, um... He's like, he's like, um, well, well, Ethan, well, I guess Jed says to Ethan, you'll go, go right now, go get help, go get her, go get her. And then he ends up getting, like, trying to do it, but he ends up hitting Caleb. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. And he's like, Caleb's like, if you can't control your powers, get off the field. And then, he, and then Jed's like, at least he's trying to use his powers. He's like, what is that supposed to mean? And he's like, I thought you, since you betrayed us for, you know, Malivore, at least, uh, uh, He's like, um, is it, I forget what the fuck he says. Exactly. He's like, I think, I, I, he's like, uh, what's that supposed to be? He's like, I, at least when I thought you betrayed us from Malibu, you would have got something cool out of it. And then he ends up doing a fireball and shooting it at Jed. I thought that was hilarious. I that was so that. funny. He's like, at least if I thought you would have betrayed us from Malibu, you would have got something cool out of it. I Josie, thought that was great. Josie used like her, like a spell to do lightning. Yeah. And it hit Wade. I was like, what is it that? hit Wade, and he's like, oh, shake it off, Wade. And get up, Wade, walk it off. Yeah, get, walk it off. And then it hits Jed. Yeah, he's like, oh, Jed's you're, down. You're, you're, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. I loved it. I thought that was cool. How they had their little, like, their little training it's sesh, it's but it's like, <laughs> it's like a gym speaking class. Of, speaking of the funny shit Caleb says, I have a hair and Caleb line, and will always be a hair and Caleb line. That's my quarterback. From like yeah, that's Missouri. yeah, that that is a good line. Caleb's like, that's my that's my quarterback. That is a good line. He said, that's that's that will forever probably be mine. But now my new one's like, oh, I thought it hit my solar plexus. <laughs> I, I thought that's funny. This was just a really good episode on the fact of it. We we got a lot of time with hope on where she's going. Yeah. And and we got someone to send her in the right path to go back home. Yeah. And that's what she needed to hear. Maybe that she now she's like, okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe, maybe I should go home. Maybe that's why she went to Clark. Exactly. She wanted him to say, go home. You're doing something wrong. That's what she wanted. She knew that he would tell her the truth on you, you're doing the wrong thing. You're better maybe than this. Home. You need to go home before it's too, before you do something you're gonna regret. Yeah. And I love that. So I did enjoy that. I did enjoy that Lizzie again. She needed that push from that girl wanting to see her father before she died to realize that she what she was doing was wrong, and she and that showed her that she needs help. Without her father, she has no money that can pull her back in before she does something worse. She's yeah. afraid she might go out of control. Yeah. So I really do appreciate that she realizes she needs help, and Josie she goes to Josie and says, "I need help before things get worse," and that's why she is going to be in that therapy box. I guess that's what she wants. Um, and with everybody else, I mean, you know, MG benched Caleb saying that, you know, they don't trust you and you're trying to be a leader. And again, you can't be a leader if they don't trust you. You're benched. And meaning that that's when he realized that he does he is not the leader. MG's the leader. Thank God. I mean, I can't believe it took you that long that MG's the leader because he's he is always the one that brings up the plans. He's always the one that does everything. Like MG is the leader of the super squad. He named it the super squad. He's the leader. That's just yeah. how it is. I just really appreciate. I really appreciated everything. Also, with uh, you know, with uh, you know, um, I always forget the name. Cleo. Yeah. With Cleo, uh, th now knowing she thinks that her only solution to take down Hope is to stake her with the tree that they all made, Josie, Hope, and, and, and Lizzie. Lizzie yeah. And that's the tree that could take down the tribrid. And, and funny enough, it's the it's it's something that represents family. 
is the tree that they did and represents how close they all are. And maybe that's maybe that stake won't kill her, but maybe he'll turn he'll do something to her to make her put her humanity back on. I don't know. Maybe in her head, Cleo thinks that's the way of it's a way of killing her, but maybe if this is the way to get her back to normal, I don't know because it represents family and all that. So I don't know, but maybe if that is the thing that's going to kill her, I hope Cleo isn't going to take it upon herself and realize that's that's maybe that's the only way. It's not. It's not. That's not the solution. They, and I feel like we're going to figure out in this episode where maybe Cleo, that's in her head, what she's going to do since Hope is back, but they're all trying to save her when she gets back trying to restart her make her turn back on yeah. her humanity and i think we're going to see that but some people are going to be wanting to kill her like it sounded like i heard somebody say we have to kill her i think it was lizzie i think she might be back and then if not i heard somebody say we have to kill her and i heard um and then i heard uh a lark say something he says something but um by the end of like the next week's episode you know sneak peek but i all i know is that we have a lot of things going for us this season so far, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm really enjoying the fact that I think we're done hearing from, you know, um, you know, I'm um, hearing from um, Malivor and Ted. and Ted because they ended up getting their their coins on them realizing the fact that they were they did some bad things and you know they regret those things and they end up getting coins and I think they're going to go into the light and I think we're going to be done with those characters. Which, I mean, I don't know how I feel with Malivore going into the light because all the shit he's done. But, I mean, it seemed like he might have been genuine on what he did was wrong. At least he somewhat kind of, I don't know, he, all he really said was, is that, oh, you know, maybe you're not so bad after all. And I feel like that's not enough to gain, gain you a coin, but who, who, I don't know. That's a step into them being good. Who knows? what what Maybe we'll see them down the line, and, but I don't know. But it looks like... They didn't go yet, so, and it looks like now a lark is there. Who knows if a lark's gonna let them go to the light and saying, you guys don't deserve to go. You guys have done some pretty bad shit just because you guys, oh, said, oh, please forgive me, or oh, you're not so bad, doesn't mean you get to go. You have a lot of work to do, so you should go back to Earth and have to earn your way into, you know, being good again. You know what I mean? You should earn your way before you just go into the light, into everlasting happiness. So I don't know what's going to happen with them, or the, what the lark's going to tell them, but they were shocked to see him, meaning they're probably going to be like, dude, are you dying or something? Or I don't know. It should be funny to see how they react to that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe a lark will forgive them and that will, and he'll like, he'll be like, you guys don't deserve to go. And by the end of whatever, he might forgive them. And then they all might say sorry. And then, and then they might go off. I don't know. Anything can happen. It's legacies. Who knows? I'm excited to see what happens going forward. I'm excited to hear down in the comments below what you guys have to say down in the comments below about, like, this episode. I thought it was a really good episode. Um, and I'm just excited to see where we're going with the season of legacies. I feel like things are getting interesting, like, very interesting. Um, I would say this season is way better than last season so far. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see where things go. Uh, what else, Amy? What else you got to say about it? Nothing really. Nothing really? Yeah, I'm just excited to hear down in the comments below what you guys have to say about this episode. Again, let me know what your theories are, your speculations are. Let me know where you think these characters are going to go. Let me know how you guys feel. How you Let me guys know in the, in, the comments, in the comments below if you guys agree with me on what I'm saying about the, how it gives us our characters some growth time since, you know, Olark is in his coma. And, you know, and of course, you know, and, you know, Lizzie is in her thing. It gives our characters that need the growth it gives them growth time and, and, and really bonds them together because it seems like they're very, they're very broken right now, the team, because of what Hope did. And I feel like they're trying to m get back together to take her down. So I'm excited to see all that go down. Um, I'm just excited to hear down in the comments below what you guys have to say. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, like this video. I would love to have you guys here, part of this family. We're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. Uh, it's crazy. Right now, we're at 419, almost to 420. Almost to, uh, uh, my, my main goal is to get to 500, and we're, we're moving so quick, guys. This family's growing each and every day, and I'm super, super grateful. Um, that this family is growing each and every day. Again, I love the the love and the positivity and motivation you guys spread to me down in the comments below. You guys make me want to keep striving for greatness, keep striving for my green dreams, and keep you know um you guys make me want to be a better person even in the, even who I am right now. You guys make me want to just you know be even a better person. So you guys just you guys are the best um you know family you know family members a man can have. Like I I really do appreciate it, guys all the love and positivity you guys spread down in the comments below. 
And it's just, this family's growing each and every day and I'm super, super grateful. And I just, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy how this, how this family's growing. But guys, that was the video. Um, I can't wait to see you guys. Well, I guess for Legacies, we won't see you guys until December 2nd. Um, but of course for Riverdale, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. For All American, I'll see you guys next Monday. Um, I think that might be it. Just Tuesday and Monday for All American yeah, and for Tuesday. and Tuesday. Well, I guess Tuesday for um, River, Rivervale and also for Flash. I'll see you guys Tuesday. So yeah, we got some shows next week, guys. At least I have shows next week and also with Annie for R Rivervale. But actually, I, that's if Annie wants to join me for Rivervale because she didn't like it too much. But I'll see you guys next week for the, those other shows. Along with the following, we'll see you guys December 2nd. But guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.